Welcome back to uh, Cutting Motorsports. Uh, this is going to be the uh, unpacking of uh, the Roadkeeper car dash camera. So this is the box you're going to get. I'll show you the back side. Right here. And let's get this baby open. So when you open up your box, it's nicely packed. Sorry about the zoom. There we go. We'll pull out the first piece, set this box aside. So this is the unit. You have two cameras, uh, one facing front, one facing back, or you can have both of them facing front. Uh, they're ab completely rotatable, as you can see, 180 degrees. So you can have one facing backwards, one facing the front. Uh, you have your screen here, I'll turn it around this way with all your uh, simple controls. Um, the lenses can also pivot from side to side. So you do have a fair bit of angle and they are wide angle lenses, uh, 20 or 1080p. Um, this is the backside where the mount will actually go. So I'm gonna show you that in a sec. We'll pull out next layer in the box. There go. All right, so this is everything you get. You have a power cable here. Um, this will be an adapter that will go directly from the race keeper itself straight into a um, cigarette lighter plug or a 12 volt plug in your car, which makes it nice and easy. And then your little adapter that plugs directly into the unit. Also with this kit, you're gonna get uh, a mount or you're a road keeper. So they even give you a spare uh, 3M sticker. This is your mount. It just clicks onto the back here. And then uh, this part, you're gonna mount directly to the windshield. There is a GPS sensor directly built into this unit. So as long as uh, it's on the windshield and it's got a view to the sky, then you'll have a GPS control and you'll be able to review that um, on your data when you actually pull it out. Uh, onto the Comparo uh, software that they use. And then finally, uh, they give you a little scan disc adapter. Uh, this unit comes with a 32 gig um, micro card. Uh, you can upgrade to larger ones if you want, but it is very handy because it's actually a continuous recording. So when you get to the point where uh, the card is full, um, it'll automatically just start over uh, right at the beginning again. And uh, that way you never really lose anything. If there is something that you want to keep, um, then what you do is you just end up um, pulling out the SD card, downloading all the data onto your, uh, um, from your SD card onto your computer and to compare, and then you can save those files. And um, there you have it. It's a very simple system. There is an, uh, another system for uh, you guys that want to mount it to a roll cage. Uh, if it is within the car and it's not visible to uh, the sky, then um, it comes with a different mount. It's basically a ball mount that you can mount to your roll cage. And then there's an external antenna uh, that will go on the roof of your car um, that will just uh, magnetize on top. That way you have the GPS signal directly from there. I hope you found that uh, instructional. If you are interested in a unit, uh, please uh, send me an email, cuttymotorsports at gmail.com and uh, we'll get you sorted out. I know there's a rally coming up soon, so this could be a solution to have a dual camera system in your car for fairly affordable price. And anybody that's interested in just even for the road, um, it's a good thing to have, especially nowadays. Um, if ever you get into collision, at least now you have video evidence of what happened. There's also a mic that's built in uh, to pick up any sounds as well. So this is a good unit for that, as well as uh, any companies that have drivers uh, if you want to monitor your drivers um, and have uh, some kind of evidence if ever they do get into an accident on the road, uh, this is another great system as well. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.